Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's Lola from Lola's Life Lessons. It is September 14th, 2023. I live in Ontario, Canada. I'm back with another weekly Walmart walkabout. I want you guys to keep an eye on the shelves and the prices in your local grocery store. I've been doing these videos for over a year now. I really want you guys to pay attention to the food prices in your stores. It seems to be a nickel here, a dime there, but prices are definitely increasing. I want you guys to pay attention to the empty shelves, the thinning shelves, and especially the brand shortages. This is what I see in my grocery store, and I want you guys to stick around to the end for my grocery haul.
Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you guys what $163.77 looks like in Ontario, Canada. Here is my grocery haul. So we have the Thick and Zesty Primo spaghetti sauce and there was a sale. So I believe this was 98 cents. So of course I got 12 and yes, there was plenty left for everyone else. We have some mushroom, some Greek yogurt, cherries. And you know what guys, I haven't seen cherries in a while. It's been really, really hard to find cherries. These are frozen cherries and there has been a shortage of these. Some sunflower seeds. And, whoops, and this bag of Doritos, it is the guacamole flavored Doritos, and this is seasonal. This week I had to get these because, like I said, they're seasonal. They are absolutely delicious. I see them usually around Halloween time, and they stick around for maybe a couple weeks, and then they're gone. So... You guys should try these if you haven't. If you like guacamole, if you like spicy chips, you're going to love this. We got some eggs. I'm going to be making a fried rice this week. So I have some shrimp for that. And I've had some really busy weeks. So I have some lasagna here just in case I don't have time to cook. Also some bacon. Their cheese was on sale. Cheese is usually about $8, and I believe this one was $5, so that was a really good deal. Have some pretzel buns here. You can always tell when my daughter goes shopping with us. Some juice, some sugarless gum, and then we had these veggies. And like I said, I'm making fried rice this week, so I needed some veggies for that. Got some pineapple, two of them. There was a sale, some zucchini, cantaloupe, bananas, and I was able to get a watermelon. It looks like the season is ending. This will probably be the last time you guys are gonna see watermelon in my groceries. So that's about it, guys. Um, as for the food aisles, they were not looking too bad. The cereal aisle was looking a little bit Mm, a little bit bare, but not too bad. And like I've been saying from week to week, my main concern is the rising food prices. Food prices are skyrocketing. It is a nickel here and a dime there, so you don't really notice it, but you do notice it on your grocery bill. This amount of groceries two years ago would have probably been about 100 bucks, but now it's almost $200. Baby formula aisle is looking better, but there is still a limit. Check this out. I want to show you guys our bill for Montana's. As I've told you guys before, I love to cook, but I do like to go to a restaurant. Just it kind of gives me a bit of a break from cooking. So this is a bill for three people. Um... As you can see here, we had three drinks. I had the chicken tacos. They were not the greatest. My daughter had a chicken fajitas. Um, her chicken was a little bit on the dry side. And my husband had the spicy chicken and he actually loved his meal. But as you can see here, this is $80 for dinner. And I mean, like two years ago, the bill would not be $80 for dinner. So I'm sure you guys have noticed as well that, you know what, prices have certainly gone up when it comes to eating at restaurants. We didn't get any appetizers or anything. So if we did get an appetizer, obviously the bill would have been more than $80. And we didn't get any alcohol either. We don't drink. So of course our bill is $80. But if you drink, get a glass of wine or something like that, your bill is going to be over $100. Okay. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it is getting very expensive to eat at restaurants these days. What are you guys paying when you guys go to restaurants? 
All right, so that is it, guys. Um, let me know what you guys are noticing in your grocery stores. Are you noticing empty shelves? Are you noticing skyrocketing prices? What are you guys paying when you go to restaurants? Are you seeing bills that are similar like this? So that's about it, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.